you said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. Apologies. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosfelger and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Surtur's wife. Where is she? Nifelheim, I think. We head down towards that tower. We might be able to see the forge. Heads up! That witch is trying to make war! I wonder if they saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen now. Look, over there. Get 
Might be past this lava fall. You know this. A hunch. When I was here before, I got a pretty good feel for the layout. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission? Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? We gotta be close. I can hear the fort. Sigil arrows don't work on that. <laughs> Spring! No! 
another chance! <laughs> It's gotta be him. We will ask. Hello, Sarger? Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't. We deal with these bugs. Another one? Focus! He is the guardian of this realm. 
It is his right to defend it. The agent's done! said we need him left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than... You would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? He says, you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me.
you won't be able to get through this. Uh, starter? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. Then we're good. Sorter, were you here at the beginning of everything? Yeah. What was it like? So, here it is, the spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gal Owen. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. Promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter. Stabbing you with the blade is going to be enough to create this new you? Sinmar's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the spark's fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. Fire, her heart, combine them, you get Ragnarok. It's time.
How long do you think this is gonna take?
Mother, over here! Way back from there. I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Think about it. Show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Bro was right. Groa failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. Earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Ah! More of Odin's forces. Trying to finish the job and job restarted. Back This way, Father. We can climb back towards the gate. So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. This place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. Get down! 
Father, the Ain Her Yar aren't gonna stop attacking anytime soon. We need to get back. Quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. We'll only get higher. It'll be worth it. Our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, Father. Is there anything you want to finish up? feeling you might pop in here. You know everybody's meeting in Midgard, right? Time to cleave some heads. Now those are some angry knives. Y'all feeling uh, crafty? Hey, y'all. Uh, I just wanted you to know if you need anything at all, I'll be around. Either here or at Brock and Zidri's old shops. Yeah, I know we're all busted up inside today, but, you know, I for one like to keep busy. A good fit.
This is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? <laughs> Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. Defend the peace. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. Everyone from all nine realms really loved here, huh? Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. So, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samar involved, so instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok, we did a work around that left her out of there. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide.
Excuse me. May I have a moment with Nanea? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived,
Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that a part of me dies as well. Do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply. 
is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. One more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. <laughs> <laughs> 